All right, so in this uh, video, I'm going to be explaining another important article about domain adaptation. The title of this article is called Class Imbalanced Domain Adaptation and Empirical Odyssey. So this paper in 2020. Unsupervised domain adaptation is a promising way to generalize deep models to novel domains. However, the current literature assumes that the label distribution is domain invariant and only aligns the feature distributions or vice versa. In this work, we explore the more realistic task of class imbalance domain adaptation how to align feature distribution across domain while the label distributions of the two domains are also different. So this is the motivation of this paper. Taking a practical step toward this problem, we constructed its first benchmark with 22 cross-domain uh, cross tasks from six real image datasets. We conducted comprehensive experiments on 10 recent domain adaptation methods and I find most of them are very fragile in the face of coexisting feature and label distribution shift. Towards a better solution, we further proposed a feature and label distribution co-alignment model with a novel combination of existing ideas. co -al is empirically shown to outperform most recent domain adaptation methods on our benchmark. An example could be self-driving uh, cars that, for example, autonomous driving systems should be able to handle constantly changing frequencies of pedestrians and cars when adapting from a rural to a downtown area or from a rainy to a sunny day. So it is hard to guarantee that their label distributions are the same without any information about uh, Q in the real world. And recent theoretical work has demonstrated that if label shift exists, current UDA methods could lead to significant performance drop. And third, we cannot check whether label shift exists in real applications. This prevents us from safely applying current UDA methods because we cannot predict the potential risk of performance drop. But what is this CDA? It stands for uh, Class Imbalanced Domain Adaptation. They, uh, they propose in this paper that it's a more challenging but practical domain adaptation setting where the conditional feature shift and label shift are required to be tackled simultaneously. So we propose a class imbalanced domain adaptation where we consider feature shift and label shift simultaneously. We provide the first empirical evaluation of this setting showing that existing unsupervised domain adaptation methods are very fragile in the face of label shift. This is because learning marginal domain invariant features will incorrectly align samples from different categories leading to negative transfer. We propose an alternative, more robust approach that combines self-training and conditional feature alignment to tackle uh, feature and label shift. But what is label shift? For example, in the source, the number of blue circles are the same as brown circles. But in the target, the number of blue circles is much less than the number of uh, not only this, because also in the target, the label is, is totally changed. So it's a label shift. Co-alignment of feature and label distribution. So we assume that the probability of distributions given your data is the same, but the probability of X, uh, 
condition on y is not equal to uh, probability of x condition on the label. We aim to construct an end-to-end -end deep neural network which is able to transfer the knowledge learned from uh, source domain to target domain. So this is an overview. Our model is trained iteratively between two steps. In step A here, you see that we forward the target sample through our model to generate these pseudo labels and mask this one mask. In step B here, we train our models by self-training with the pseudo label target samples to align the label distribution and prototype based conditional alignment with minimax entropy. Uh, from previous uh, video, you saw that we have an upper bound on the target for our hypothesis. The mount demonstrates that the optimal labeling functions need to be ger need to generalize well in both domains, such as this term, uh, which can be bounded. But conventional domain adaptation approaches, which only align marginal feature distribution, cannot guarantee that minimum is minimized. So this is the Jensen-Shannon distance between the two distributions. And this theorem demonstrates that when divergence between label distribution is significant, minimizing the divergence between the marginal distribution and the source task error, we enlarge the target task error. So we leverage a similarity-based classifier to estimate probability of x given your label and a minimax entropy algorithm to align it with Q. And the architecture of Cole model contains a feature extractor and a similarity-based uh, classifier C. Prototype-based classifiers perform well in future learning setting, which motivates us to adapt them since in label shift setting, some categories can have low frequencies. So C is composed of a weight matrix and a temperature where D is a dimension of feature generated by F and C is a total number of classes. So this matrix can be seen as a C as C D dimensional vectors for each category. So we can compute the prototype based classification loss with just your standard cross entropy. But the intuition behind this loss is that the higher the confidence of the sample X being classified as class I, the closer the embedding of X is to W sub I. Now we are talking about conditional alignment by minimax entropy. Due to lack of categorical, categorical, categorical information in target domain, it is infeasible to utilize this equation to obtain target prototypes. We tackle this problem by moving each source prototype to be closer to, be, to its nearby target samples and clustering target samples around this moved prototype. So for each sample, X fed into a network, we can compute the mean entropy of the classifier. So larger edge, edge here, the, when it is larger, it indicates that sample X is similar to all weight vectors of C. We achieve conditional feature distribution alignment by aligning the source and target prototypes in the adversarial process. So we train C to maximize L, the loss, 
uh, aiming to move the true prototypes from the source samples toward the neighboring target samples, and then we train F to minimize the loss, aiming to make the embedding of target samples close to their nearby prototypes. So it's a mini max game between C and F. So the total loss can be written like this. And W hat is just the pseudo labels. Uh, and M here is just selection mask. When coping with label shift, the label distribution of the source domain could be highly imbalanced. A classifier trained on imbalanced categories will make highly biased predictions. This effect also hinders the self-training process uh, that we discussed. So in this section, we combine the above ideas into end-to-end -end training pipeline. Uh, alpha here, you see alpha here is a trade-off between classifier training and feature distribution alignment. And we first define the adaptive learning objective. Uh, so we iterate between pseudo-label alignment and adaptive learning. And these are the digits label shift, you see, uh, and also domain net label shift. And you have different data sets, office, home, domain net. When you go from one source to the other target, for the baseline, you see this accuracy, which is 53, for example, for this, for this source and this target. But uh, this paper shows that you see it's 20% 20 improvement. And you see, we always use TSNE algorithm for visualizations, 